Hi everyone, my name is Chris, and if you want vegan recipes, hauls, products, and restaurant recommendations perfect for the whole family, hit that subscribe button. Our daily videos as a family of seven will always feature food, products, and places that are picky kid eater approved and hungry husband approved. Our full review of Plant Restaurant is coming soon, but we highly recommend you check it out if you're in the area right now. Our videos also showcase some aspect of our journey to live the best, most fun, and most productive life we can. So in today's vlog, I'll be showing my current minimalist wardrobe and I'll be sharing my thoughts on how to craft a minimalist wardrobe that works best for you. We love sharing our life with you and we appreciate you spending your time with us. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone. Today I am going to be talking about my minimalist clothing collection. I've always been a minimalist. I have always only had about 10 pieces of clothes that really mattered to me, especially when I became a mom. Everything kind of boils down to the absolute bare essentials and so today I wanted to show you guys my clothing collection and talk a little bit about how I got to this point how I narrowed it down to, and what you guys can do if you are interested in having a minimalist life as well okay so one of the first things that I did when I was deciding 100% that I wanted to finalize my clothing collection is that I wanted to focus on the things that mattered most to me. And the main thing is comfort. So I would prioritize comfort over everything else. If your priority is fashion before anything else, then I would definitely recommend that you pick the 10 pieces that to you are timeless and no matter what will never go out of style if that is your focus. And my opinion is that that is what will make your collection feel special to you is if you focus on the thing that you prioritize the most. So for me, it's comfort and also a weird nostalgia. I realized that the pieces that I picked for the most part had some sort of sentimental value in some kind of way. Number two, ask yourself, does this item bring me joy? Now there's a book that I'm reading right now called, I believe it's the magical art of tidying up. I'm reading it on Audible, which I highly recommend if you are busy and you don't, aren't able to get a lot of reading done or audible is a really great option I recently started listening to this book on audible while I was baking and was talking all about how your focus should not be throwing things away it should be does this item bring me joy and for me as I was listening to it I thought so much about my vegan journey and how much for the past three years we've sort of dripped things that we eat down to the bare essentials and so much of our journey for my family in 2018 is focusing on what we actually want and putting that energy out there into the universe and making sure that people know and that we share with people what our vision for our life as a family is and you know, I think that's so important. So much of my life has been about making sure that I pour my energy and my love and my time into those core people and not so much, it's, oh, you only need a husband and, and, and kids. No, it's you focus on who the 10 or seven or six most important people to you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, I mean, <laughs> you focus on who the seven or five or ten most important people to you are and maybe they're your best friends from college maybe they're your group that you're building an app with whoever focus your time and energy on those people and a lot of that translates into having a minimalist wardrobe as well if you're if you believe in minimalism as a concept it will expand to not just the amount of clothing you wear, it will expand to the amount of people you spend your time with, the different varieties of food that you eat. And so, you know, sometimes that's kind of essential is to focus on just the things that you like and that you care about and that actually bring you joy and don't focus on anything else because anything else is noise. And that's basically it. I am going to go through and show you guys exactly what is in my wardrobe and talk a little bit about the specific items. I'm going to do that right now. I want to start with this black bathing suit. It's very nostalgic for me because I borrowed it from my sister to go on my first vacation with my husband and our family and we were so at peace at the time. It really inspired us to start living exactly the life we want to live. I associate this bathing suit with the complete joy I felt when we came to the realization that we wanted to travel with our family and that we wanted to take some time off and make this something that we did all the time. Oh, and if you want to know if your body is bathing suit ready, just put a bathing suit on. 
That's it. It's ready. Love your body. Love your life. I never want to teach my daughters that they have to wait for a certain time or a certain moment to be happy. If you put out love now, you'll get it right back. I've since worn this bathing suit after we sold our home and booked a two-week stay at a gorgeous beach house in Destin back in January and again when we were in the mountains of North Carolina in February. So really, really nostalgic and very important to me. Next up is this simple tank top and this olive green button-up shirt. I always associate this shirt with having the courage to finally start my YouTube channel. They represent for me boldness, excitement, new beginnings, and the absence of fear. I have a specific perspective on the world and voicing that to strangers seemed very daunting at first, but I'm here to share my truth and all of those frequencies are woven into the fabric now. I truly believe that. The two t-shirts that I kept both belong to my mother and my sister respectively at some point. I love these shirts not only because they're stretchy and comfortable, two separate times both my mother and my sister gave me these shirts off their backs. I saw them wearing it, I asked if I could borrow it, and I never returned them. I think it's important to own items that belong to people that you love. Their energies are in the clothing, their love for you, their love for themselves, all of that matters. Neither of these shirts are fancy in any way, but they are a reminder of the selflessness of the people around me. And that's one of my core values, and these clothes are a physical representation of that. Oh, these pregnancy pants? They're just comfortable pants. Don't sleep on pregnancy pants. They're like Spanx, but with jeans attached. What girl is out here not wanting that level of sexy? This hoodie is my, what do you mean, five kids? I'm a college girl, I do college things. Oh, and with my Falcon shirt, I'm not even a Falcons fan. It's just so comfortable and so cute. Everybody has that one shirt that could say Idaho State Champs. You have no idea what the team is, but it's the most comfortable shirt ever. This blue shirt, which I don't have it here. It actually was in the wash, and I don't think I brought it with me on the trip, but this is what I wore for my most raw, honest video ever, but I went a whole year before I even put it up on YouTube. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link to it below, but it's about learning to love yourself, learning to let go. It's a video I'm so proud of because of its honesty, and it's what my podcast is going to be like, so stay tuned for that madness when I launch it at the end of this week. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you guys in understanding my philosophy on minimalism and on how that can be reflected in different parts of your life, specifically in building a minimalist wardrobe. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. I am so excited about this channel and about sharing my life with you guys and sharing this next year, which is honestly I know is going to be the best year yet. And um, please leave any suggestions for videos that you guys want to see from me or from my family. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.